Harris, it's your boy Blast from Stage Dean. Today we're here to watch five most disturbing 911 calls caught on tape. It is by Top 5 Unknowns, one of my favorite Top 5 channels. The link to the original video is in the description down below. Let go! This video might be one of our most disturbing videos yet. So just a heads up, this video may not be for everyone. It contains some distressing audio which some viewers may find saddening, so beware. What's really funny is, on one of his other top five videos that he put an advisory notice in the beginning of, I thought it was full of shit. I was like, please, you're just saying that so people think it's really good. And I watched it and I was like, oh my god, shit. Like, it, it fucked me up. So when, when this dude says that, you best believe them shits. Take heed. Because <laughs> cause it be real. Jake Evans 911 call. On the 4th of October 2012, 17-year-old Jake Evans of Parker County, Texas shot and killed his mother and sister. He shot his 48-year-old mother and 15-year-old sister several times with a 22 revolver. He then phoned the police and confessed to his horrific crime. He told the operator that he killed them because he had been planning to kill for a while and it didn't matter who the victim was. He said he killed because he didn't like people's attitudes. He was charged with capital murder. This is the recording of the 911 call. It's disturbing hearing how calm he is as he describes how he murdered them. The original recording is 20 minutes long, but here is a section of it. Parker County 911, where is your emergency? Uh, my house. What's the address? 152 River Creek Lane. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a... Uh, and what is your name? Jake Evans. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. Okay, do you, um, is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? It's weird. I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been planning on uh, killing for a while now. The, the two of them or just anybody? Pretty much anybody. Why? I don't know. I, I don't really like uh, people's kind of attitude. Right. I think they kind of they're very emotional. I don't know, verbally rude. Yo! Homie sounds so nonchalant that it's just so unbelievable that he did it. Like, you can hear it in the phone operator's fucking voice. She don't believe shit this dude is saying. She don't believe, and I wouldn't either. It sounds like a prank. It's just, yeah, so I mean, so yeah, you know, I, I murdered my mom and my sister for no reason. I wasn't mad at him. You know, I just shot him and I've been playing. It's, it's just, and the woman is just like, yeah, so, uh, hmm. Sure you did. Mmm. I bet you did. Like in her mind, she's playing the song and shit. You know, just completely not believing this shit. A hundred percent oblivious to the fact that this man just murdered two of his most cherished family members, bro. God, Jesus! People are crazy. The weepy voiced killer call. Paul Stefani was an American serial killer. He killed four people from 1980 to 1982. His crimes began on New Year's Eve 1980. He viciously beat a woman with a tire iron, then raped her while she was walking home from a party in Hudson, Wisconsin. He beat her so badly that her throat had looked as if it was slit open with a knife. Luckily she survived, but she still suffers from complications due to brain injuries from the attack. After this, he continued to attack people and ended up killing four. He stabbed three to death and drowned one. Straight after the killings, he phoned the police to confess to the horrific crimes he committed. Due to the hysteric calls, he got the nickname the Weepy Voiced Killer. He was sentenced to 40 years for murder and attempted murder. He died in prison due to skin cancer. Here are some sections of the calls he made to the police. Don't talk, just listen. I'm sorry what I did to content. I couldn't help it. Don't know why I had to stab her. I'm so upset about it. Play your emergency. Please don't talk to this person. I'm sorry, I killed that girl. I stabbed her 40 times. Kimberly, come to me. Please don't 
See, me being a, a regular functioning weird human being, I can't comprehend how you can murder somebody like it's you killing someone, but you feel bad about it. I don't... I don't get... Ruth Price 911 call. Ruth Price was an elderly woman who was quite paranoid and would phone the police frequently. In this call, she claimed someone kept checking out her apartment and said she had spoken to him briefly when he turned up at her door. During the conversation, it seems as if she hears someone breaking in. This becomes apparent as she stops suddenly during parts of the conversation. She was correct. An intruder had entered her home. The intruder then attacked her and the whole event was caught on tape. It's believed she was murdered before the police arrived. Here is a chilling audio of the call. There's a problem, ma'am. Oh, well, there's some guy been uh, checking the place out. Oh. Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door and... Yes. Yeah. And, uh said he's uh, looking for an apartment. So I'm, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. I'm where where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. Patty Nielsen 911 call. Patty Nielsen was a teacher at Columbine High School during the time the massacre occurred. The horrific event took place on April 20th, 1999 at Columbine High School in Colorado. The culprits were two students, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. They shot and killed 12 students and one teacher. They then committed suicide. Patty was on duty as a lunchroom monitor in the cafeteria during the time of the attack. She said she could see Eric smiling as he shot a hail of bullets in her direction. A bullet grazed her shoulder. She then sprinted into the library and called 911. During the call, you can hear the panic in her voice as she gives instructions to students. This is the call that took place on a disastrous day. Jefferson County 911. Yes, I am a teacher at Columbine High School. There is a student here with a gun. He was shot out a window. I believe one student. Uh, um, um, I don't know what's in my shoulder. If it was just a last minute, what? Okay, has anybody been injured, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the school is in a panic. And I'm in the library. I've got students down on the other table, kids. Heads under the table. Um, kids are screaming. I'm looking to. Uh, no, time holding. We need to Okay. Little sister suicide call. There isn't much surrounding this call, but it has to be the most disturbing on the list. A young girl was home without- Oh, goddamn, man. How can it get more disturbing than what we've listened to so far? Oh, man. Can it really be worse than the woman literally being murdered on the phone? The, the, the Columbine shooting? The, the 911 call? And the people crying? And the kid who was- completely just fine while confessing that he killed his family in his own house. How can it be worse? Please just be joking. Parents, 
The only people in the house were her, her sister, and her brother. The girl then heard a loud bang and went to investigate. She found her brother dead with a gunshot wound to the head. He had committed suicide. She went into a frantic panic and ran to call the police. In the call, the girl sounds to be in despair. Later on in the call, her father arrived. The audio is really disturbing, so just a caution. Oh, can it be worse than the first two? Come on. Help me, my brother's dead. What's your name? Mickey. What do you mean by your brother's dead? He killed himself. How did he do it? With a gun. Okay, are you home alone? Well, I'm uh, home alone with my sister. Okay, get some of your quick. Did you just find him, Mickey? Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> Mickey, stay on the phone with me, hon, okay? Okay, number one, that was, that was God awful and terrible. Number two, what the father, the father come on there all nonchalant and shit, like he had just burnt biscuits in the oven or something, motherfucker. Your child is, has killed himself. How is that? Jump on the phone. Oh, mother in Jesus. God, great googa mooga. God dang it. What the God? Jesus Christ. God darn it. No! No! What? What? Yo, <laughs> no. no, man, uh, again, Top 5 Unknowns yet again has <laughs> some of the craziest, bone chillingest Top 5 videos on the internet. <laughs> well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. As always, if you did enjoy this video, then the link is in the description down below to the original video, which also leads to Top 5 Unknown's channel. I mean, you just, you just they they make very well done and well researched videos. This this was crazy as hell. Boy Blast from Sage D. Twisps. Make sure to check out my prank channel. I'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week as this one you see on the left. Click the annotation if you want to watch that or look in the description where I'll leave a link for the people who are on phones. And as always, Blasphemous HD out.